Hey everyone, Don with Brazier Tone Works, and thanks for watching. Today's video is a rewire of a HSS Stratocaster so that we have dual volumes, a master tone control, and some coil splits. It's kind of a unique mod. Let's see what we're up against. So again, what we're trying to achieve is we're going to rewire it so that the bridge has its own volume and the neck and the middle combined have its own volume pot. And we're going to have a master tone and we're also going to put a push pull in so that we can split the coils on the humbucker. All right, looking at the components, pretty simple. We've got two single coil pickups. We've got a humbucker. It does need to be four wire in order for the coil splits to work. Our volume pot, our top one, is going to have a push pull because we're going to use that to split the coil of the humbucker. We've got another volume pot, a tone pot, output jack, and our five way switch. As always, I like to identify the lugs on our switches and pots so everybody knows what we're dealing with. On our push-pull pot, you'll see that on the left side, we have A123. On the right side, B123. For the lugs on the pot themselves, L1, L2, and L3. Uh, keep in mind, if the pot is inverted, I do not change the order. Then on our five-way switch, on the left-hand side, it's A1234. On the right side, B1234. Please keep in mind, it really doesn't matter where the spring is on my picture. Sometimes I have them backwards or different. It does not matter. Just remember the order of the lugs. Okay, as always, we start with grounding. We're going to look for a central grounding point. I always use the top of one of the volume pots. So we're going to take each pot and ground a wire from the top of each pot to that central point. You'll notice that we are also grounding B3 on the push-pull switch. We're going to use that a little bit later when we do our coil splitting. And then obviously we go to the bridge claw for the final ground. Next we're going to do the output jack. We need a grounding wire coming from our central grounding point on the top of that volume pot to the ring of the jack. And then from A4 of the five-way switch, we're going to wire up to the tip portion of that jack. Next, we'll move on to the capacitor. You can use any type of capacitor you want. It's a completely subjective thing. If you want to use a mylar, if you want to use an orange drop, if you want to use a paper and oil, does not matter. Whatever value you want to use, it's whatever is in your head in terms of the tone for that capacitor you want to use, you can use that. What we need to do is take one end, and we're going to wire that to lug L3 of our tone pot, and the other end of that capacitor is going to get grounded to the top of that pot. Now we'll start with the pickups. We're going to start with our neck pickup. We're going to take the ground wire and obviously go to our central point again, which is the top of the volume pot. And the hot wire is going to go to B4 of the five-way switch. Next, we'll move on to the middle pickup, again grounding the ground wire. The hot is going to go to B3 of the five-way switch. Okay, now we're going to move on to the bridge pickup. It is a humbucker. The wire color codes I'm using are from Seymour Duncan, so please adjust if you need to. The hot, which is the black wire, is going to go to L1 of the volume pot, the one with the push-pull. The red and the white, which are the coil split wires, to combined are going to go to B2 on the push-pull switch. And the final two wires, which are the green and the bare, those are going to go to the central grounding point on top of that volume pot. Now we have the first of a couple switch wires that we have to do. We need a jumper between A2 and A3 on the five-way switch. And then from A3, we need to take a wire and go to L2 of the middle volume pot. Next, we need to take a wire from A4 of our five-way switch, and we're going to go to L2 of the tone control. And lastly, we need to take a wire from A1 and go to L2 of the top volume pot, or the one with the push-pull. And the final wire is going to go from B1 to L1 of the center volume pot. And that's it. We're done. What we've achieved now is taking our HSS guitar and having the top volume pot not only be a coil split for that humbucker, but that is also going to be an independent volume control for the bridge pickup. The next pot, which was normally our tone, is going to be a volume pot as well for the middle and the neck combined. And then the bottom is going to be a master tone. It is important to note that nothing is changing with your actual switch. 
the same pickup combinations are going to exist in this particular mod as they would on a standard Strat. Now, the most important thing, if you're going to do this mod, you do have to remember that lug L3 on that center pot, with the one that was an old tone pot, in order to make it into a volume pot, you do have to ground L3. If you don't do that, this will not work. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mod. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you do have any questions on it or comments, please let me know at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone, it's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.